Hi guys, part two of our antique cookery refurb. It's been a while, um, but we've had a lot on. Uh, there are a fair few cookeries, but I figured as we showed three in the original video, I'll stick with these three uh, to better show their before and after. Uh, so what you're looking at right now is the cookeries as we got them. It's a snapshot from the original video. They had a lot of damage uh, with broken handles, uh, huge amounts of rust, and the edges were non-existent with massive chips and whole tips missing. Uh, a lot of the brass furniture was missing as well. Uh, they went through a lot of various processes, uh, and I will show a few clips of that uh, and explain what's going on in each clip as best I can. Here you can see the largest of the cookeries, the ceremonial, uh, being put through pre-etch. This is basically the process of removing the material to the lowest points um, so we can put a final actual cutting edge on. Uh, we have to work in sections due to its length uh, and we'll work through a number of belts, uh, go, go, like increasing grit as we go. Uh, currently this is at 320, um, we'll to go all the way up uh, when it gets edged to about 3000. This is the same cookery getting its final edge. Uh, we can work more of the blade uh, at these finer grits. Once it come off this machine, uh, it will be shaving sharp. It will then get uh, buffed and polished and then hand honed with a leather strop to finish it. Here you can see the large ceremonial cookery getting its final polish. It goes through a number of polishing processes uh, before it gets to this one. This is the final one we'll do and it will leave a mirror uh, finish across the front of the blade. This is the same process on a different cookery just with a bird's eye view wearing a helmet cam. Just so you can see what's actually going on and sort of the hand movement involved. And then part of the final process is to clean the compound off. You see the black streaks coming off. That's the sort of wax residue left from the buffing process. All in all, we're very happy with how they came out. They are stunning pieces um, with a lot of history and it's just, we're very proud to be a part of it. Perhaps the most drastic change, however, is this one. As you can see, the handle's off, the sheath is de destroyed and it is completely black with rust. Hopefully we have done that cookery some justice. It looks like a completely different tool. I'm very, very happy with how it came out. So here they are, all done. Uh, took us a little bit longer than we expected. We've had a lot of other work in. Let's see if we do some close-ups. So that's the uh, sheath and all these brass parts. Some of them are actually missing, sadly. So this is like the resin underneath. Um, some of the little parts are missing. Um, but uh, it was all very tarnished and black. Um, it's not in too bad nick. I mean, it's split in places, but the actual sheath itself is is pretty good. Um, sadly it hasn't got any of the little companion knives. Um, we don't know where they are. Um, the silver one, these two bands have been put in uh, to help hold the sheath together. You can see it's uh, actually come through the leather in places. Um, but this has actually been completely taken apart and rebuilt inside. Um, all the silver was taken off and cleaned and then it's all been re-peened back onto the leather. Um, little knives that it comes with, all sorted and the two sort of more traditional belt loops at the back there. Uh, the other one, uh, this was a more modern sort of style cookery sheath. Um, the decision was made that it just needed a cover, it didn't need like the sort of 
few like the the, the big the big sheaths of the, the the sort of traditional ones. Um, however, oddly, it turned out to be the one of the nicer cookeries. Um, uh, it's uh, it was a lot of work to get that done. Um, so the brass inlay on that has come up really nicely, and these are razor sharp um, as well. They've come up beautifully. Some of them. Um, some better than others just to the steel quality um, you can see the edge on that and these are shaving sharp like I say um, and again this one is the sort of biggest transformation um, I'm very happy with it Thanks for watching.